Is there any level of jealousy with you and Johnny? Like you're like knowing that he's just going and filming with other girls? Is that bothering you? Well, on average, Johnny says that he can count on one hand how many times I was jealous out of like, I don't know, he f 30 girls a month for 10 years. Mm. So it's usually n not a problem. But in the beginning, was it more of a problem or less of a problem? Yeah, the first time he ever went to work, I was, it, I was, I cried and it was sad, but then I processed it and it was just like a job and I get right. it. And you know what it is really is that Johnny makes it the easiest it could possibly be. Like his reputation in the industry is that he's the most respectful guy. Mm. He never tries to get at the girls. He like comes in, he works on his laptop. He's really quiet. And so I guess his reputation helped me. You know, because he didn't, it didn't feel scummy or sleazy. It felt like he was going to work, and that was him, and he loved it. It probably helped that he was already doing it for a while before yes. you met him, too. So it's kind of like, oh, this is this is how I fell in love with you. Yeah, I can't just, like, walk in and be like, can you change everything? Right. <laughs> and, then, and then it became hot, and then I became getting... Um, I got close to some of the girls, and then mm. that really became fun. Then I used to send like notes with the, with him for some of my favorite girls, you know, like I love you, like my, like I hope maybe he makes you come today. And right. So then it made it fun, and then we started having threesomes, and then I really like just got turned out. Had you hooked up with girls before this though? Yeah, I did. I had a girlfriend when I was uh, eight, 18. Okay. So I've always like I might be gay still. Right. So yeah. But then did you get like really enthusiastic about hooking up with him and other chicks? Yeah, like I fucking love having threesomes. Like I just like devour women and I really love women and the most, but I need a big dick as well, you know? Mm. So the dynamic of it and so then it just became like this fun thing. Did you guys ever have a conversation early on of like I'm fucking other girls, but you're not fucking anybody else? Um well, at first I was only fucking Johnny. Right. He was my only dick for 3 years. But did he mention that or was that just how it was? Well, at first I wanted it to be like that cuz I like to feel like if I could have one good dick and 1 million girls, that would be my ideal like situation basically. Like hmm. that's all I really care about. So I liked being like I like to be a good girl. Like I liked that I was like his special one and like you go do whatever you want and stuff like that. But then <laughs> after 3 years and was, that's three years of you <clears throat> shooting porn with him as yes, well, right? Yeah, you know? for browsers and everything. Like, I would, I would only use him. Mm. And then after a few years, I got bored. Like, I wanted to, you know, explore. So that's when I signed a deal with Jules Jordan. Was that a conversation with Johnny or? Yeah, it was a decision we made together. And was, did he it, have a hard time with it at all? or was Yeah, it... he regretted it after. Really? Yeah, because he thought, like, logically he thought, like, I feel like je jealousy, when you look at it really logically, makes no sense like you're like no i get it like you're going to work it's fine like mm. it, logically I, I get this i trust you but then sometimes jealousy just happens anyway you know mm. like yeah of course he was jealous because all right so from my perspective as a person who's on a lot of porn sets there is a weird dynamic about it where let's say you're my girlfriend and you're going to work and you just like literally walk into the room boom yes. you do the scene and then you walk out that's not actually how it is the guy, a lot of the guys, not all the guys, but a lot of the guys are walking in the room and they're grabbing your ass yeah. and they're making out with you and smelling your hair, which to their credit, this is from their perspective, this is how they get warmed up for the scene yes. is like, you know, instead of just going straight into doggy style, you're going to, you know, feel each other out and try to get comfortable with each other. A lot of times the guys are doing that, maybe not even for themselves, but because they want to just get the girl comfortable and yeah. stuff like that. And that's the stuff that all the little extras that, the, you know, sucking the guy's dick for 20 minutes to get him hard yeah. because he's having a hard time. All that stuff is what I think. And, and he being in the industry, he knows all about that <laughs> shit. There's no hiding it. He knows exactly how it is. Is that like some of the stuff that started to probably? Really yeah, I think so. Interesting. And like just coming home and are just like destroyed. Because I'm also, Johnny's also like a very like nice vanilla performer, you know, and I'm just not. Like I'm a fucking crazy bitch. Really? So I'd come home with like cum in my eyes and like, like I would take a shower and everything. I was respectful, but like, yeah, it was a lot. So like, oh, hi, honey. Like, it's interesting because I feel like if you're going to be a porn boyfriend, you have to either be good at like compartmentalizing it and just putting it out of your head and not thinking about it, or you have to like it. Yeah, Which yeah, I'm, like I'm sure he's super into it. Right, there's there's some guys out there who if you come home and your fucking vagina is leaking cum, yeah. they're going to be turned on by that. I wouldn't like that. Not a huge percentage of guys, I'm guessing, but there are guys who like that shit. You know? Yeah, but you're totally right. Like, if, if they're into it, then that's like the only safe time, you know? Like, right. they'll be jealousy unless you're like a cuck.
Yeah. You know, but I wouldn't want someone to want that either. But were you guys like that in your private life too? Would you ever fuck dudes together? No, Not that he would be never. fucking the dude, but. No, right. I've never even had a threesome with a guy with him. Really? He won't do, he's done one DP in his life, I think. And he won't even do like orgy scenes if there's another guy there unless he gets a girl and they get their girl. Like a boy, boy, girl, girl. Mm. Or like, like imagine me and you and then they were fucking. But we don't switch. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> She's no. like, leave me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's like, I've been doing this shit for all these years. And finally you're going to put me in this scene with Josh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. She's like, what do you want to do to you, Kissa? She's like, I've been helping you for all these years, and you're gonna make me fuck Josh. <laughs> okay. And off, and off this topic. Josh. Off this topic. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. What What do you think it is? You think he's just like very like gay phobic, or is he just that's 100 percent not his thing? He, it's not his thing, and I don't. He's not. He's definitely not gay phobic because he's. We've talked about it a lot, where he almost wishes that he could be gay, you know? Like, he's like, oh, it's just so freeing. Like, you know, girls are so fucking difficult to mm. bang them and you have to court them and the whole thing. But, uh, like, gay dudes, like, have a lot of gay friends and they'll, uh, they'll be on Grinder, and it'll say, like, oh, a guy wants to suck your dick 15 feet away and they're just, like, looking and then they go to the bathroom and they bang. So Johnny's really, like, jealous of that aspect. And, and when you think about so that, cool. monkeypox makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, all right, I remember I, I one time I was with a girl. We were at the movies. We're in Long Beach. And we're, we're looking for, like, a bar that we can go get some drinks at afterwards, right? This is 10-plus years ago. And we, we see that there's a bar. We kind of, like, realize on the way that it's a gay bar. But it's like, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. We'll just go in and, and get some drinks or whatever. And we go in there. And it's, like, almost closing time at a gay bar in downtown Long Beach. And these <laughs> motherfuckers are in. I seen, like, I seen five hairy-ass fat dudes in a conga line just dancing with it. I, I was like, what the fuck? And. The, just something about the energy and it's like I'm I'm picking up on the energy as a person who's not trying to fuck a dude but I'm picking up on it like I've never been in a room like this where there's so much mutual wanting yeah. to fuck each other yeah. going on because Openness. my whole life I've been going to bars and shit and it's like you know to, to get a girl to give you her number oh, is God. difficult to get a girl to kiss you is like fucking extremely difficult yeah. in all things considered never mind sex you walk in the gay bar, these dudes are dying to fuck each other. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awesome. a very different thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is awesome. and, and if all you care about is making money from porn, then of course you would want to be gay because that's just more work you could do. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.